Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel, this is Cyril here speaking and today we'll be talking about Agris from the city of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. So Agris here is kinda unique. She's not a very good buffer or a very good aura or even a very good debuffer in that sense. What she offer here is not really a way for your team to hit really hard or hit really good damage, but she offers something very unique which is crowd control. Her skill 1 does a little bit bravery gain and heal the party as well as giving her the essential buff that she needs to maximize her own damage. Her skill 2 though, inflict paralyze at only a 25% chance. But the idea behind using her skill 2 is you only use it after you use her additional attack which is which uh, extend the percentage of uh, debuff by 7 times which in this case would make the Paralyze uh, a guarantee Paralyze from her skill too. Her EX though is quite unique. She applied a very unique debuff called Silent. It doesn't completely shut down the enemy because it only stops magic, bravery and HP attack. So you do need to check a little bit on the info on what kind of enemy you're dealing with and what kind of attack they'll be performing before you use the EX to make sure that it shuts them down. So she comes with a new kit which is her LD and this LD basically provides her a very uh, overhead buff that boosts her attack and the party bravery as well as debuff invasion and also max bravery and eye bravery up. Her kit actually is quite unique where she relies on max bravery in most of her damage and bravery refund. So you want to give Argus a balance between attack and max bravery in the spear and of course in the R effect itself. Nonetheless though, her LD actually gave her one particular attack which is fairly interesting which is a bravery attack will turn into a one turn HP attack that will apply a confused debuff to both of the enemy or to all of the enemy. This makes her very like I said crowd control because in a sense where all of her attack except skill 1 applies a certain debuff that will shut down the enemy preventing them from even moving or just using their attacks. If you play your cards right though, you can completely disable the enemy throughout your fights so which made you a lot safer than you thought you would be. She does have a little bit issue on the speed part though. For once, she's very slow. So it's a little bit disadvantage in the fact that she needs to get more turn to stack up her EX recharge as well as using her LD to gain the one turn bravery attack. She does have two additional abilities though, so she gained access to two guarantee paralysis and four usage of her bravery attack that guarantee confusion, as well as some access to the EX which guarantee silence. But she does have very slow recast on top of her slow split, so I mean slow speed. She need to use up up to three abilities to gain access to that one EX, so it's not very reliable in that sense. You can see my team here actually run her with Ash and I realized that Argus actually synergized really well with her. So for one, people often overlook the fact that Ash has a very unique speed up party buff, which in this case would help Argus a lot in her getting more turns to apply her debuff, making her more reliable in shutting down the mechanics of the boss. Ash also does have her EX which also helps in the paralysis should Agress only get one paralyzed with a skill 2. Ash also of course refueled the EX which is very good for Agress considering how slow her recast is. So in this sense I think the two of them mix really well as a party. And Vaughn is only here because I'm trying to meet the really strict turn count. They're not exactly very uh, DPS friendly for Agress and Ash so Having Vaughn here actually helps them in boosting their overall DPS and using Vaughn honestly is a little bit, I felt a little bit cheating. <laughs> so to make things harder for me, I prevent using BT and Summon as well as friend support. I don't know why I bring Yuna but he's che I, I guess she's just there for the emergency situation. <laughs> But yeah, I am glad I am actually able to finish this within the turn count and without using all those that I mentioned. 
Augurs will also work really well with teams that help in delay because when you delay the enemy you actually give more rooms for Augurs to apply her debuff but I'm not trying to run that here because that felt a little bit too much abuse in the crowd control situation so I'm just trying to show how good she is in even without having a delayer and I picked this stage because first of all I don't have to worry about the orb I don't have to bring specific unit to fulfill the orb condition and secondly because this enemy without bringing any tank it's actually very dangerous if you let them take any turn so so having Argus performing here actually shows how good she is in the whole controlling situation regardless though I do find some issue with bringing Argus like I said in the first part of the video she's not exactly an aura bot having her here means that she's there to fulfill the specific role of controlling the enemy and nothing else. She doesn't help too much in the aura department because she does provide some auras but just not as good as what aura bots are there for. She however can hit hard if you get enough auras and defense down with her in the team but the idea of her in the team itself is you have no issue on, on letting the enemy move so she'll not work really well with calls that debuff because in the sense that she will let the enemy get turns and the call the debuff will wear off eventually so she's more buff reliant I would say you can run units like sensor with her to see how how high her damage can be but she's not exactly there to fulfill the damage goal as well so you do need a very well balanced team to make her work for now I heard that she can be very viable in the upcoming Lufenia plus situation. I know that she'll be good in Kate Sif event as a shock event but we'll see. <laughs> I don't pers uh, I didn't specifically pull for her because of those events. I just wanted to see what she can do because she has like I said a very unique mechanism that makes her quite viable in in a unique team comp. Yeah. So I have a feeling that after listening to my verdict which might be a little bit strict, Bart would kill me. <laughs> because he might think that I'm not using her or I'm not giving her the, the verdict she deserves uh, and it might be true because I didn't really actually perform her in other stages I don't find her performing too well in other stages so maybe she's more useful in the upcoming run instead of the one that we have right now so long story short I'll be giving her a 7, 6, 7 out of 10 because despite how good she is in the crowd control situation she's still very she still does need a very well balanced team composition to work considering how she only fulfilled that specific role itself she can be considered by most people as a very niche user or a niche character but i think she'll perform a lot more than what people think in the upcoming Lufenias especially when we're approaching Lufenia plus where boss like to jump turns like what we're seeing in Shinryu Lufenia right now also one thing good about Argus is that she can actually kind of fulfill the defensive role of a tank because by using her here you don't exactly need a tank as she is actually letting the enemy move by not letting them move and she works really really well with traps user as well alright so that wraps it up and thank you again for watching. If you enjoy my content, do consider clicking that red subscribe button and liking the video as well as leave a comment below and let me know what you think about Agris. Is she working for you? And do you, what kind of team comp or stages did you run her with? I'm also quite interested to know that because I didn't know where else to use her. I know that she'll work really well in Edwards Lufania as well, given that you, you don't want the boss to take any turns because that will give you the instant death. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what do you think about this. And once again, thank you and I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video.
楽にしてやるとっておきだ